What's up, everybody? My name is Tennis Bubba 13, and welcome back to some more GoldenEye with Bubba, season five, episode number five. <laughs> Two fives in one part. All right. Um, so today, video, we got some conflicts going on. Um, I'm actually joined up with Odin's back 33, and the funny thing about this is that uh, he's also recorded this map as well, um, which would be on. His channel, you can go check it out on youtube.com slash odinspack33 or I'll just provide you a link down there below so you can go check that out. Uh, he also does some GoldenEye stuff once in a while. It's He's got like his own series called, uh, sometimes called Golden Saturdays. Others others are known as SPAC Saturdays where he updates um, other different types of games uh, along with him just doing some updates on his channel. Um, but uh, other than that, you can go check him out. He's got some GoldenEye on his channel. Um, and uh, another brief announcement I want to just make is that uh, not too long ago on uh, Saturday, April 11th, which would be yesterday since this video is going to go up today on Sunday, um, I, I posted a new combo video. And it's a um, Mega Man combo video that I've been working on for quite some time. Uh, so that way you guys can check that out. I'm also... Did a little bit with Shulk as well, so it's uh, a Mega Man combo video slash Shulk. Um, since those two are kind of mostly my main characters, I wouldn't say. So go check that out, please, if you must. Um, link will be in the description below. Anyways, back to Goldeneye action. So today I'm rocking the Vargan, and uh, the Vargan's been one of those weapons that I haven't really been using that much. And I just was bored one day and decided to make probably dedicate this episode to weapon of the day which would be the Vargan. Uh, the Vargan is basically an SMG gun you get um, I think a little bit after the Sigmas 9 guns the the Stogger. You get that gun after you get the Stogger. Um, so the attachments that I have for this gun to make this a little bit better I have uh, Reflex Sight on. Um, it does kind of help a little bit with accuracy. Um, this gun is really really good actually in long range and the Reflex Sight kind of helps a little bit. Um, I've also used High Cap Magazine, as you can kind of see the the number of bullets increase. And the, the, the Vargan is like a beast when it comes to the SMGs uh, in terms of bullet strength and everything. Um, so it's a really, really powerful gun if you uh, really take it to good use. So basically the Vargan um, is just one of those weapons I haven't been, been using that much. and I. I just want to try to um, get this out as much, like maybe do some more Weapon of the Days with uh, various different weapons. And I think probably what I'll do next week is just kind of keep doing that. And uh, like if you guys have any other suggestions for weapons in terms of uh, what, what guns I should use more often, then by all means I'm open down to any suggestions. Um, so on and so forth. So. Basically, we got uh, free for all going on here. We, uh, if you don't know what this gameplay is, uh, conflict. It's just basically free for all, every man for themselves, and uh, the best to 30 kills, I believe. So, this match is was kind of annoying in some ways because there was there's a few different issues. One, there's one guy that we kept running into a lot, and uh, he uses Master Tin. Even on jungles, like Master Tin, you don't you don't find many people use that gun on this map, but uh, I can kind of see why uh, for free for all gameplay. So, um, but some people there's like multiple different sniping locations, and there's that guy um, who pretty much likes to hide in one specific area and just like you know take action. But uh, like basically, yeah, <laughs> there's a, there's a bunch of different spots that kind of annoy me in jungles that. Uh, most free-for-all players usually do um, in this particular situation so uh, the Vargan kind of not so good on jungles I would say but for free-for-all purpose I can get away with it uh, if, this, if this was like teams or anything else then probably I would just use sniper rifle in some case um, there's actually a gun that I pick up um, not just the Talon but I've also managed to snag a couple of the Gambit sniper rifle which uh, Really, you don't see much people use it because it's such a, such a, um, a really. You have to work really hard to get the Gambit sniper, and because of that, it's it's really good. <laughs> like it's it's it may be slow firing range, um, and it only has like four bullets, I believe. So um, 
that's why you don't see many people use that gun. You probably see lot, lots of people use Pavlov or the Toros, which is like the fastest sniper rifle shooter um, in that category. So, like in this case, if I was using sniper, I would probably just be using the the Toros in any case. Although I think the this guy right here, I managed to stag his silence uh, gambit, but then all of a sudden Odin's back just pops up out of nowhere. <laughs> Because I really wanted to just try this gun out and see how how that works. Because uh, I haven't really been like picking up most of the other people's weapons these days, and here he kind of took advantage of that with the gambit. <laughs> but um, but anyways, yeah. So nothing really much happens in this gameplay. Like I, I don't think I obviously I don't win in this particular one. Uh, although I do try my best to uh, make sure I'm in like the top, you know, top, best top fives or whatever. Um, but uh, I see this guy I finally get this guy's master tin so cuz <laughs> honestly just haven't been messing around with this master tin and I for some reason whenever I use it I just never seem to hold on to it as long maybe in this case uh, for jungles a lot of people are just you know spending most of their time sniping and uh, not a lot not many people do uh, shotguns <laughs> in this map so I see a couple of um, proxy mines since I do have the um, the minesweeper gadget which lets you see proximity mines on the radar down below um, so I finally pick up this gambit and wouldn't you know it uh, I try to I'm not sure what happens here I get a no scope off of Odin's back in the back of the uh, that's just something else I never really been so shocked to see that <laughs> sorry Odin <laughs> so um, but fortunately, I lose the gambit, so I'm just make haste with the Vargan as usual. And then out in the opening is a scary spot for jungle, especially in sniper territory. You don't want to be wandering out in the middle of that area, otherwise you're gonna get a lot of sniper snipe in your face. So <clears throat> I try to find out. I think where this guy is, and um, I think he's just like right around the other side somewhere, because um, that's usually what I like to do is just kind of spot out these these areas right here and just see where they're at um, but most of the times they just be like in certain grass patches where it's really hard to see people um, but anyways I think uh, right around here almost get blown up and then I think I just take cover and I see this guy um, and then I just go for random grenade throw <laughs> but um, Overall, the Vargan, I would say, is a solid weapon. You should definitely pick this gun up when you can. It's uh, really fascinating to see this do good work, um, especially with the um, high cap magazines and just some other things you can do with this gun. just makes things a lot, lot sicker. I also um, switched my pistol, too, and I um, I don't know if I show it off. Oh, there it is. There's the Hawksman pistol. But I don't know if I show it off as much and because... Uh, <laughs> I barely use the Hawksman pistols now that I have Kanara V unlocked, uh, which is really, really nice. I like that pistol so much. Um, but the Hawksman, don't, I don't really get much love of the Hawksman, so I just decided to just snag that pistol when I can and just, you know, just in case. Um, if I run low on ammo, switch to it. But it's a nice pistol. It gets, gets pretty good work done. See, this guy just, like, randomly passed by me. Um, I think that was... Uh, I'm not sure if it was Odin, but it was probably the guy with the Master Tin. Um, but then I just go down here. This is weird. Like I get this guy, and then all of a sudden, like I don't know what I don't know what happened. But he just like randomly like because that's the thing. The thing I really kind of stressed in this game is that uh, whenever you near somebody, the frame rate just drops like ridiculous. It, it might have been just like some lag in this match, but. Uh, like that was just weird. I, I don't know why I didn't get that guy. Um, so I'm just like, I think I see a guy or on the radar, on the map up there. I sort of got him just a little bit, but I didn't really get the kill. Nor do I even go back to make sure he's dead. <laughs> but um, like I'm just kind of scouting out the spots where snipers are usually at in this map in terms of free for all. Um, I think the biggest spot that uh, a lot of people like to hide is right where this guy's at sometimes. And for some reason, I get Trey killed right there. Like, I don't even know. I shot him first, way before he shot me. Um, so yeah, lag. That's a thing. Um, I got, I think I got Mr. Spack right there. <laughs> he was just um, switching over to the sniper rifle, I think. Um, he was using the Kalos, I believe, in the beginning. Now he's just, because obviously in jungle, you have to 
kind of be more aware of what gun you use in this map. Uh, assault rifle is really good too, but um, sniper rifle just takes the cake. But otherwise, that is it. I lose to this guy, which uh, I came pretty close actually. Um, but the kill to death ratio was kind of positive, I would say. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys later for some more GoldenEye with Bubba action. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this episode. If you want to see me do some other guns for like weapons of the day, let me know down in the comments below. I'll see you folks next week. Take care. Uh, bye bye. Peace.